pain, love, desperation. This strange picture shows it all. And what follows this incident will send chills down your spine. You see, a couple fall in love with each other, hugging. But when you see the hidden truth behind this picture, your jaw will drop. I'm talking about A Huguenot, a painting by John Everett Melias from the year 1852, and the story it shows is as pretty as this artwork. The original title of this painting is When the Clock of the Palais du Justice shall sound upon the great bell at daybreak. Then each good Catholic must bind a strip of white linen around his arm and place a fair white cross in his cap. The Order of the Duke of Guise. But to make it simpler for the masses, it was given the shorter name. It tells you how the love they have for each other can't be good for them, as we see going forward. You can see a lovely couple embracing each other in a lovely hug, but when you look at it carefully, it depicts so much more than that which is very easy to miss in this case. The maiden who is a Catholic is trying to tie a white linen cloth on her lover as she is also embracing his presence. But if you look carefully, you can see that the young man who is determined to represent his belief to the world firmly disagrees with the gesture and takes away that cloth from the hold. However, the part that shocks the most is that this firm attitude of the man does not take away the gentle look he has on his love this does not mean the lady is tricking her lover to convert. Neither, the man is trying to be stubborn. She is trying to save the love of her life from troubles and he is trying to save his dignity. The whole situation is like a stalemate. They both love each other to death, but they can't be together, not in this life. The fact the lady is Catholic and the fact that the young man is a protester, their love, however, is immortal. The background. You see, in the 16th century, France faced some very tough times. There were riots, protests, and massacres based on religion. And one of the suffering groups was the Huguenots. They made up around 10% of France's population and were suppressed by the majority population of that time, the Catholics. The war for religious dominance is almost as old as time, and the ones enforcing it don't think twice before taking lives to establish their supremacy. The same happened with the Huguenots and the Catholics. The Catholics were the dominating population and they did everything they could to establish their supremacy. This led to massive religious conflicts in France, which are known as the French Wars of Religion, from the year 1562 to 1598. As you can guess, a lot of lives were lost in these wars, and of course, politics was involved. France took severe damage during this whole process, however, the monarchy did not care about the cause. Huguenots had to take a lot of oppression and their population of 900,000 people was diminished to a mere 1,500 with time. Catholics didn't regret using violence to get rid of the Huguenots and they were asked to either to convert, to refuge, or to die. The story. The painting, however, shows something that is even more heart-wrenching. As we discussed earlier, Melias's painting shows a couple but with an understanding of the situation of that time, it makes more sense. The young lady and the man are in love, and they passionately embrace each other. The way they look into each other's eyes, the way the man caresses his lover, the way the maiden is concerned about his safety, the bond shown in this image is unimaginable. An order was passed to the general public that all the Catholics in the society should wear a white linen cloth on their arms. This is to distinguish the protesters from the people of the government and to make sure who in the public is to be punished by the dominating sectors of society. This is the real reason why the lady is worried about her lover. She knows things might go wrong, and for that reason, she wants her lover to wear the white linen on his arm. Yet again, the young chap is a man of his culture, and he doesn't care about what catastrophe follows. He disagrees with the concern, and he wants to go forward with his revolting partners. It is too saddening to see a loving couple getting separated due to such reasons. The Catastrophe What followed this wholesome meeting was what we know as the St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre today. It is one of the most violent killings for religious reasons and is known in dark pages of history. On the morning of the 24th August, the bell of saint germain la auxois tolled and the mass killing of Huguenots, protesters who were not wearing the white linen on their arms. The protest was massive 
and the murders were gruesome. Catholic nobles and civilians ran into the houses and shops of the Huguenots, destroying everything that comes in their way and killing every Protestant they saw. Men, women, children, nothing caused pain in their eyes. A Huguenot was a Huguenot, and they were massacred on sight. Hundreds, if not thousands of dead bodies were thrown into the Seine, the beautiful river that flows near the Eiffel Tower. More than 3,000 Huguenots were massacred in Paris alone, and the whole country witnessed the deaths of more than 70,000 of the minority religious group. The whole massacre went on for two days, and thousands of innocent people lost their lives due to gruesome hate. Their only fault was the fact that they had different religious beliefs, and they were not suppressed by some tyrant's opinions. In order to survive and escape this wrath, many Huguenots tied those white linen cloths on their arms. They had no other option but to accept what is forced upon them and escape to safety. The irony. If we come back to the painting now, we see the whole picture. At first glance, you see a couple deep in love, but the longer you look, the stranger it gets. You might have questioned the white cloth in the girl's hand and why she might be trying to tie it to the man. You might have even thought of why the man is holding it so firmly. These acts, these emotions, they don't mix well with love, do they? And yet, this might just be one of the most loving things there. The man is not angry at his lover for her efforts. He is still caressing her advances. The irony of this painting is what makes it even more admirable. It has love and concern for safety, yet it has anger and oppression. And somehow these emotions all together add to the beauty of this painting and make it magical. But what follows this meeting is nothing short of a tragedy. This painting represents it to be the last meeting of the couple. And that is the most tragic part of this incident. The irony of their meeting, yet their separation. Their love, yet the mutual hate of their backgrounds of each other. Their care, yet the massacre that followed. It all makes sense. This painting truly a work of art.